just eyeing your plate. Uh, what is it you can't wait to dig into? Well, the cucumber salad is very appetizing to the eye, so I can't wait to dig into that. But I, I look like a pig, but I got a little bit of everything because it all looks so good. To Maryland's Agriculture Secretary and everyone else gathered at Gwynn Park High School recently, the food couldn't have looked any better because it couldn't have been any fresher. From tomatoes to peppers to watermelons, the whole cornucopia of fruits and vegetables served up by the school's culinary arts students had been grown on site by their peers. Just as Michelle Obama has been serving White House vegetables at state dinners, so too have the new student farmers enrolled in the county's first ever Academy of Environmental Sciences been providing food for their school's cafeteria. And while getting that food on the table hasn't been as easy as some of them thought, they couldn't be any happier at how the harvest turned out. Do kids like to eat what you grow? I hope so. <laughs> they buy it, so yeah. Do you feel proud that you've grown yes, this stuff? I do. Like when people ask in, um, in a cafeteria eat, I'm like, that was all me. When we first started with the program, as was mentioned, students didn't want to go outside for fear that their shoes would become dirty. Uh, fast forward two weeks and they're getting dirty, they're planting seeds, they're seeing the results and the yield uh, for their harvest. And so it, it's a wonderful way to connect all of the different areas at the school. Uh, we mentioned science, technology, engineering, math, and we have the arts out here as well. Um, so it's a wonderful way for students to see uh, the roots of the country as well as incorporate uh, solution-oriented uh, project learning skills along the way. It's a lot of work. You got to get on your hands and knees, hands-on work. What are some of the tricks of the trade? We want to make sure our um, soil is always tilled because the same soil on top just starts to lose its nutrients. So, so we pull the bottom to the top. All this was really hard work and I thought all you do is put a couple of seeds in the ground, water it. It'll grow. It's not that hard. But after a while, after doing it for a year, you realize there's a lot that goes into it. Every Monday, we have to stay after school. And when we come after school, we work on our plants. And it's like, I thought we really didn't have to check on them. We just had to water them every now and then. But I realized you have to pull out weeds, have to water them. Some you might have to fertilize, but not all. And after they grow, you're just like so proud of them. And while the piles of eye candy produce in Gwynn Park's lunchroom that day helped advertise Maryland's farm to school program, they also hinted at the variety of careers available to those with an interest in agriculture. Well, today is a wonderful event. You know, it's so exciting to see our children actually grow in food and then see those same children prepare those items. And, you know, today our children don't get a lot of opportunity to do that. So, you know, the farm to school program is about nutrition, but it's also about education. I know I wanted to be in a science career, which is why I wanted to sign up for this one because they, we didn't have any kind of academy like this. We had like food academies and hair academies. We never had a science academy. So I thought that this would be a good opportunity because it's not just about farming, it's about different fields of farming. Like I wanna work in like a lab or something dealing with bio, like biology. So this academy really helps with that. Good luck and thanks to all the academy students for planting the seeds for future lunches and bountiful futures of their own. This is Dave Zero.